Max Jimenez against AJ Agazam, not for the first time. We saw them face off in the Gi at the Pan Championships just a couple of, well, just four weeks ago. And now, now we have a no-gi match between them as well. This is, a, this is a huge match in, in more ways than one. I mean, Jimenez was able to convincingly beat AJ Agassam on points when they met. Huge takedown from Max Jimenez. Scary moment there as AJ nearly landed on his head. But uh, looks to be all right. Big, big takedown. And Jimenez right into the driver's seat. This is not where AJ would have preferred to end up. Max Jimenez is a crushing man to have on top of you. Half guard though, AJ Agazam able to withstand that kind of, uh, that initial pressure, the onslaught of Max Jimenez. I mean, that is the, that was the, the story of their last match, was the, the resilience of AJ Agazam, the survival in and going a full 10 minutes against somebody who probably has over 100 pounds on him. And I think that's going to be his, uh, his goal here is to try and show that he can do a gi or no gi, but maybe even try and get a win here at the no gi world championships. Uh, well, he's got a bit of a deficit on his hands here if he's looking for that. Two points and a strong passing attempt already in action here from Max Jimenez. AJ has the leg soundly trapped, but it does, I mean, he could does seem to be side. a bit of a matter of time yeah. here. If he can get an underhook and come out the side, but look at that weight that Jimenez is putting on the upper body. Let's just remind our viewers, Chase, that AJ Agazam won Nogi World Championships. He is a Nogi World Champion, but way back in the lightweight division. And look at this Americana attempt there from from Max Jimenez, he's trying to get that hand on the floor, but... Wow, AJ survives uh, the heavy pressure of Jimenez for now. Survives and recovers guard. Nicely done. And people may be wondering why AJ has chosen yet again to enter the All-Star Heavy. Well, we talked about this a little bit on the podcast, but AJ publicly has, has stated, you know, the point of Jiu-Jitsu is to give the smaller man an option to successfully defend himself against the larger, stronger opponent. Right, And he's right. putting that principle into place today. Now. The question is, how successful will he be against someone who's also very good at jiu-jitsu? And, uh, you know, it's a tall order. Max Jimenez is looking for what looks like a steam lock real quick there. Nothing doing. That is the question. <laughs> and AJ certainly is as tough as they come, right? I remember he uh, lasted most of the round last time with Max Jimenez. Full match, I want to say. Was it a full match? Yeah. I don't think he was submitted. Agazam looks fired up, though. He's straight back into the center of the mat, rolling. And this is where the size difference becomes so apparent. When you zoom out and you kind of see the size. Look at that. Uh, Agazam. Playing an open guard. A little open spider guard. What having a good time out here there. From bottom. Jumping Going on a Kamur here. Kamur attack from bottom. That seems like a brave move against somebody as big as Jimenez, who's able to put his weight on top of the... The hips here, smash pass position. AJ does have a very powerful Kimura attack. He's trying to rip it out there, but this gives Jimenez an opportunity to go for an armbar. But he just literally picks up and dumps AJ down to the mat once again. <laughs> Will we see a takedown attempt from AJ Agazan? We know it. There it is. He goes in for his famous low single, dives down for the leg. Yeah, I just checked the score from their last match. It was 7-2 to two in favor of Jimenez. That did go the full length of regulation. And there you have it. AJ is a battler. He's uh, a warrior. He can fight through 
adversity that many other people just don't have the cojones to, take, to get through. It's just, it's phenomenal how deep this guy can dig. AJ again in on single. single. Has a pretty good bite. Max forced to really kick out hard. A little smile from AJ after that exchange. And now Jimenez firing back with some heavy pawing, let's call it, at the back of the head of Aga's arm. Jimenez was able to score two points from that takedown earlier, right at the, towards the beginning of the match. I'd love to see him. I'd love to see him go for another big takedown attempt at this uh, at this stage. Are you mad at AJ? Is that what you're saying? AJ, again, this is three shots in a row from AJ with Jimenez being oh, forced I, to defend. I would just like to see Jimenez engage and, and initiate a little bit more because right now he seems to be happy to allow AJ to come forward. Just a little uh, game of mercy going yeah, on out there, it looks straight like. Straight up mercy grips here. Jimenez circling away. Oh, now there's a deeper attack from Agazan, but a counter throw from Jimenez onto the front headlock and manages to get Agazan to his knees. Agazam, though, not conceded any points just yet. Huge mat return for Max Jimenez. Two more points on the board for Jimenez. Love the commitment from Agazam, though. Really went in deep on that shot. It's a risky move against someone like Jimenez, but what are you going to do? Looking for this arm triangle choke now, going high into the mount. Almost gets the mount, but Agazan manages to trap an ankle. We'll see Jimenez working on that head and arm choke here. He's in a very, very strong position to finish this. Into the knee ride position. And we are not accustomed to seeing AJ Agazan tap. He doesn't seem to have too much of a problem in going to sleep in these kind of uh, situations, but... Jimenez is putting on a lot of pressure from this mount position. AJ seems to have weathered the storm, though. Yeah. Max was forced to readjust, and AJ removes the grip. Get the points, though. 11-0. Two minutes remaining, and Jimenez is in the mount. Probably going to work to go high on the body once again and the thing is I don't think I've ever seen AJ Agassam tap to an armbar I can't think of it I don't think so yeah he doesn't but, do that uh, he has been put to sleep with chokes so I think if there's uh, any well Max, Max is running Max low on time here AJ you know is definitely not in a great spot but choke is a far cry from where we are now right but if Jimenez has any kind of hope of submitting AJ Agazan from this position, it's going to be with a choke. It's not going to be with an arm lock. Never seen him tap to an arm bar. I don't think, can't really think of any leg locks that he's tapped to either. He just lets, he lets go. He's let stuff go way past the point of. Here we go. Max is starting to, to isolate an arm, put it across the face of Agus arm. Can't quite see if it's still there or not. There's another takedown attempt. Can AJ Agazam get some points on the scoreboard before the end of time? 
as you mentioned, Chase, their last match, their last encounter, just about a month ago in Florida, ended seven points to two in favor of Jimenez. Right now, it's 11-0. I'm sure AJ Agazam would feel at least somewhat satisfied if he was able to get some points in this encounter, but no easy feat against somebody as big as a Max Jimenez. Max certainly had to work for it, though, showing some signs of fatigue out there. And AJ will take him the distance one more time. There is the end of the match. Jimenez, the winner, 11-0, and advances through in the ultra heavyweight division. That will put Max Jimenez on a collision course with the winner of Victor Hugo and Brian Giorgio taking place uh, heavyweight, ultra heavyweight super final a little later. We're going to take about a five minute break or so. And, uh, and we'll be back with more action. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 